Hello and welcome to the second part of the arteries of the foregut. In the last video, I went through the first two branches of the celiac trunk, the left gastric artery and the splenic artery. Please watch this video to refresh your memory of these branches. Today, I'm going to go through the third major branch of the celiac trunk, the common hepatic artery. Let's have a look at it. So I've made the other arteries fainter in this image so we can focus. This is the common hepatic artery here. It heads right towards the liver to supply it with oxygen and nutrients. However, on the way, it gets a bit busy and it gives off some other branches. This one that I'm drawing now is the right gastric artery and it finishes the loop or anastomosis with the left gastric artery to complete the blood supply to the lesser curvature of the stomach. Now, this, the next branch of the common hepatic artery is the gastroduodenal artery and this descends behind the duodenum and divides further into two more arteries. From the gastroduodenal artery, we get the right gastroepiploic artery, which curves along the greater curvature of the stomach to complete its anastomosis with the left gastroepiploic artery. We also get the superior pancreatical duodenal artery, which supplies the proximal duodenum and the superior part of the head of the pancreas. Now, we're up to around here in the common hepatic artery, and at this point, it becomes the hepatic artery proper. This is the artery which goes to the liver. It runs in a region known as the porta hepatis, or door to the liver, where it lies with the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic bile ducts, forming the portal triangle. So the hepatic artery proper gets to the liver, forms the right and left hepatic arteries to supply the liver, which is awesome. And from the right hepatic artery, in 70% of individuals, we get the cystic artery, which goes to supply the gallbladder. However, some anatomical variation does exist, and it can arise higher or lower. So, as for my top tips, remember that the gastric arteries supply the lesser curvature of the stomach, and the gastroepiploic arteries supply the greater curvature of the stomach. And try and learn this blood supply in two halves. That's us. Well done on making it through. You're going to be great.